Hello everyone, I wanted to make this video to uh, talk about the new capabilities of the AI Horde and particularly the new uh, massive integration we've done with CVT AI to be able to utilize all LoRa's at the same time. Uh, this is the Lucid Creation, it's the client I maintain and I'm going to use this because it has a lot of uh, integration with uh, LoRa's and figuring out what to use and pull them automatically. So let's uh, do a simple example. Let's pick one of our models. This is one of the new features I've added where you can also use this to uh, figure out, to find the models and use multiple. So let's pick up the Gorilla with a brick and then let's try to use one of our punk uh, LoRa's. This is uh, some of the uh, built-in, not built, the curated LoRa's that we have which are available immediately for everyone. Uh, it means that the workers don't have to download them. So let's just pick one of these and you'll see that you get the information about this LoRa here and uh, we can try to uh, use it. You can modify the model strength, you can modify the clip strength and you can see some examples. You can see the triggers but you don't need to copy paste them. You can use this button here to paste them directly into your prompt. So let's try to make, for example, um, my can't have any idea right now. Let's make a, a coffee machine. Let's see what happens. Make two of them. So this will go to the workers and it will just try to uh, pick one that is available and then just load the LoRa, merge it with a model and activate it. We don't have to do anything, we don't have to download anything on our end, it just does it automatically. And there we go. So if I now change the way the, this LoRa into a Tesla Punk, actually you'll see, this is interesting, that it's uh, warning us that this model might have problems. You know, when it's red, it's going to have issues. So let's pick another one. Uh, if it detours only the top five. So here we can also just try to better figure out what we want. Let's try to use the solar bank. Let's use both of these triggers. Let's see what happens. Not bad. So one interesting thing that we can do here is that you can actually find out, look for stuff in uh, CVT AI to use. We don't have to go to the website to search. So let's say, for example, I want to look for a League of Legends card. Okay, now let's use the search option. We will go to the. Uh, it will go to the uh, CVT AI and look for any characters to use, any any model, any LoRa model matching the string that I sent here. So in this case it found all this, it has probably more, but you don't see all of them, so you might need to put the exact name that you want, otherwise it might grow too large. So let's pick Jinx and just add her thing there, let's pick the pirate one, because I think that's going to make a more interesting uh, creation and add the trigger and let's see if it will make a jinx into a pirate. Close enough. Right, so that's how it works. You know, you can uh, put up to five LoRa's together, and you can connect them with any model. It will even warn you if you're going to have to do if you're going to do something weird. For example, if I remove this, 
Now it's going to use a random model, the first available model it finds. So then it will warn you that you have selected multiple models, so it might not work. You know, because a model, a 2.1 model, will just ignore a LoRa created for 1.5. So if I select specifically a 2.1, let's select Stable Diffusion 2.1, it will go red. It will tell you I will not be able to use this, it won't work. Uh, if I use two models at the same time, it will go yellow again, telling you that it might work, it might not, depending on which model we pick. And if it's correct, it will work. Likewise, if uh, some models might have problems, uh, so if you see a red uh, showcase here, um, it will not actually uh, work. And if you click here, it will give you the instructions. Uh, if you click, if you disable non-safe for work, and you look for non-safe for work models, it won't find any. Or it might find, it will find only the uh, safe for work one. So these are all the ones that are safe for work. Some of them, if they're not marked correctly by CVT AI, like this one, it claims it's safe for work, but it probably isn't. Yeah. If I then switch this on and search again, it's probably going to find more of the uh, non safer work ones. Um, and if you select a, a, a non safer work model uh, with a safer work mode, uh, then it will just uh, grow red. Let me see. Uh, I think I remember this one. So if I choose this and then switch off the safer work, it will tell us that this doesn't work. Right, so this is how it all works. You, through this uh, new mode, we have access to all the uh, LoRa's in the uh, CVT AI. You don't need to search for them. You don't need to look. If you know the names, you can, if you can use them. If you don't know the names, you can just try typing. You know, if I want to find uh, Wednesday Adams, I can just search this with AI and find all LoRa's that has to do with Wednesday Adams. Um, hopefully this will make things much easier for everyone, will uh, allow you to just mix and match without having to mess with all the downloading and checking and everything, we do everything automatically and uh, you can focus on just making good art. So, thanks for watching.